A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today's a, a double whammy. It's uh, the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is always May 31st, a, a great Marian feast day, it's just in beautiful way to end the month of May, the, the month of our of Our Lady. Uh, and of course, uh, it's Monday and it's Memorial Day. Uh, so we in the United States remember all of our uh, men and women who, who have served and, and who gave their lives um, in sacrifice and service to their country. Uh, so is it possible to combine the two? Um, to look at the two icons of, of Mary and uh, heroic soldiers uh, together and see where, what God might be wanting to, to show us or teach us. Memorial Day, Mary. Well, first, the, the visitation. Uh, the visitation, again, you're all familiar with this. It's what we heard, Mary visiting uh, her cousin Elizabeth, after Mary's been pregnant uh, for a few months, March March 25th would be the, the Feast of the Annunciation, nine months before Christmas or May 31st, a couple, couple months into, into Mary's pregnancy. 
and she's eager to see her cousin Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, I always love, asks that question. How does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? So Mary is, is blessed. And it's not like an immediate revelation that Elizabeth has that Mary's blessed. I mean, they see the goodness of Mary. That's one of the reasons why Joseph was attracted to her. I mean, Mary is... Uh, She's got it all going for her, even before the Annunciation. Um, But then, of course, with the Annunciation. And now Elizabeth sees, again, how beautiful Mary is, both in in body, mind, and soul. And how how does this happen to me, that that you come all this way while you're pregnant? you got a million other things to do. Why, Why are you wasting your time with me? We're never a waste of time for Jesus or for his mother. Uh, Mary always wants to travel the hill country in haste to come to you and to come bringing Jesus, her son, to you. That's what we want in life. Our desire is for the Lord. And when we have Jesus, we're fine. And Mary brings us Jesus, and she's eager to come to us as lowly as we are, uh, as, as troubled as we might be. We're not troubled in Mary's eyes. We're very significant. She would risk anything for her, for us, for you, for me. Over hill, over dale, no no, uh, difficult sea voyage or mountain is going to stop Mary. Think of our soldiers now who they were storming the beaches of Normandy in the Second World War or the brutal conditions of Korea. Uh, the the South Pacific, the sultry battlefields of the Civil War, uh, the the frozen Delaware River in the Revolution. Nothing, nothing held these men back from for pursuing, and women for pursuing what was right, what what they were called to do, um, to sacrifice themselves in, in the service of of a higher ideal. Now. Our souls are the highest ideal there is. We're greater, we're more precious than any democracy or any piece of land, whatever it might be. And Mary is coming to us and she's giving her life for us. She's giving her comfort in the home of Nazareth with her media family and friends, going to a foreign land in the hill country of Judea where Elizabeth is. And she's presenting the good news that Elizabeth and your son, John the Baptist, you are loved by God. And Mary's going to travel in haste to you on this Feast of the Visitation, on this Memorial Day, and she's going to risk her life and sacrifice her life for you so that you may know and possess her son. Amen.